what up it is bones back here at the mcfarland shelf wanted to go ahead and get the next figure up here on the shelf this is so far what i have Last one I did was the White Knight Batman. Really, really enjoyed this one. Then you have the Jack Napier with the regular head. And then the Jack Napier with the Joker head that I customized so that arms and the neck would match the the white of the joker head pretty cool so far have my customs down here but today i did go ahead and open up the white knight azrael actually really really digging this figure really nice not too shabby of course uh, he does come with your basic DC multiverse stand black he also comes with the data file card Pretty cool, Jean Paul. Awesome, awesome stuff. This guy actually comes with a pretty cool sword. Um, the <laughs> I tripped out when I saw this. The the hilt the has like a Jesus a crucifixion on there. Hope nobody gets triggered. Uh, it does not bother me as the character is like really religious so it's more like uh he fights for the lord so i think he'll uh, get a pass for that also the sword comes with like a flame attachment that's like translucent so it's pretty pretty nice looking the sculpt of it you could take it on and off. Pretty crazy. But getting back to the figure, uh, pretty cool hooded uh, head sculpt. The head does move independently from the hood, which is pretty cool. The armor around is awesome. Coming down. Uh, he only has single jointed elbows, but that's not a big problem and looks pretty cool. They do have like a ratchet elbow, which is pretty cool. Uh, his belt, a lot of detail on the belt. Uh, pouches, an extra like blade, uh, crucifix, pretty sweet. Um, he also has some pretty nice uh, detail on some gauntlets on his gauntlets. Pretty nice armor. The gold color is pretty, pretty cool. And then um, just basically a lot of good sculpt. You also move down to the legs. The legs are basic. But the boots look kind of a little plain, but eh, it fits them. Uh, does have double jointed knees. And... Uh, toe articulation mm, a lot of detail a lot of nice sculpting on this figure uh, the cape is another thing it's like a I don't know how they got it to like stand and be have this like weird soft texture but it's not uh, too soft so it has some sturdiness to it uh, looks pretty nice actually but Really happy with this figure. Um, 
happy to get them up here on the shelf. Still waiting for the next month should be the the end of next month should be the the next Dark Knight Metals, which is going to be pretty cool to get into. But uh, glad to get this guy open and get him up here on the McFarland shelf. So that's pretty much it for now. Thanks for watching, guys. See you on the next one.